up? What's up? What's up? Hi. How's everybody today? Is chat working okay? I just want to double check that chat isn't being absolute trash right now. <laughs> Can everybody hear me okay? Because that's another thing that I probably need to make sure of. Doop, 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 doop. Oh yeah, so yeah, I got this working. Yeah, it's working perfectly fine now. After all the stress and hardship that I went through in order to um, get it to fucking work. It better be working now. Anyway, how's everybody today? How you doing? I'm late. I'm really late. But I went out driving today, so I didn't even know if I was going to be able to get back in time to, you know, to play. But I'm here. I'm queer. Get used to it. Mike, where you at? Michael. Michael. That's who I'm looking for right now. My tech guy. Mike, where you at? I need you to touch chat for me. Michael. Michael. My God. <laughs> uh, all right. Launch my alert box. Launch that. And then where's my thing? Oh, there it is. Launch that. Cool. All right. Mike, where you at, man? Previously during the investigation, F. K. In the coffin. I knew I could count on. Never fails. Ah, the perpetrator. Bit off honest tongue. Jack Bonsack. A shame, but our old time all American sightseeing tour just came to an end. When purple fog covers our town, we'll all wander in hell, I fret. So says Mr. Stewart. Oh, well, there's an old story. Folklore. It's a fairy tale to me. Something about a killer in a raincoat who appears on rainy nights. She had a red dress on. She was a goddess. It's starting to rain. I think this case may take a while. You know another reason why I really like this game? Or have been really on this game hard, like actually really trying to play this game because it makes me feel like I get to play my own little fucking. It feels like I'm playing my own little criminal minds. Okay, so obviously I have new stuff on, I have new shit on. Let me tell you what happened. So I ended up having to play this all the way through again, like from beginning all the way up until where I was which was after we went to the A&G to speak with um, Diane about her husband Nick's whereabouts. Yeah. And so now we have to, um, what were we just doing? We were just going to pass the time up until it was time for us to, you know, Time to go see her. Nine o'clock, I think. No, twenty one hundred. Okay, so we have to. We have to do nine to twenty one hundred. I'm mad. I'm not mad about it, but I'm mad about it. If you feel me, like I got a chance when I was playing through it by myself. You know, I got a chance to do like little stuff that I wasn't able to do on stream before, which is basically like, fucking um. You know, just go through the town, see what was open, see what wasn't open. But you can't really access any of the other stores until after you go through the community center and talk to everybody, I think. Because everything is closed because it's like raining and whatnot.
I'm not mad. At least chat is working now. I'm so, I'm very glad that chat is working now. Hello. You're going to see Nick today, right? Then you'll have lunch at the diner. I can make something if you like. I already saw Nick. I'll have it ready for you in a jiffy. Thomas, have you ever eaten Emily's cooking? <laughs> what? Hey, what exactly are you asking? Well, I was just wondering what you thought of her cooking, that's all. You know, perhaps an unbiased opinion of one who is himself a fantastic chef. So how about it? Have you eaten her cooking? I have. Just once. And how was it? Well, that's not an easy question. Honesty is the best policy. How can I say this? Cut it out, Agent York. He's pleading the fifth. He has the right to remain silent. Don't try and force him to say something. He has the right to an attorney. <sighs> George, and what are you trying to say? Anything I say may be used in a court of law. Let's just let the topic of Emily's cooking go, okay? I can't do that, George. I want to know. I guess it's just my curiosity. So tell me, Thomas. Well, for lack of a better word, let's just say it's Amazon-style cooking. Ah, that was well said. I'm impressed. <laughs> Damn. Even George is laughing her ass out. Uh. Oh, you were lacking words, were you? <sighs> Let's get back to work. <laughs> Extra. Oh, I got paid for eating lunch. What time is it now? It is... What's that, 1 o'clock? It's 1 o'clock now. So we killed a little time by eating lunch. <laughs> I get money for fucking everything. Everything. All right, let's go see what's open. Because we got to 2100, and I can smoke to pass the time. I'd probably rather sleep, to be honest, but I can smoke to pay back for the punk rock. Exactly. <laughs> it's like, oh, you're going to laugh me out about my motherfucking outfit choices. <laughs> How's your cooking, Emily? Speaking of Emily... I'm not, I don't know if there, I don't think there's like a romance option in this game or whatever, but Emily is going to be bae. I've settled. Emily is bae. I'm going to steal this car. What's over here? The bar is probably not open. Actually, um, what's on the map? Maybe the Sweary? Also, I want to see about this card over here. Because cards give you money. Oh, no, but that's at... Okay, that's at the community center. Whose house is this? All right, hold up. So, whose house is this? Anna's house? Anna? Anna? Who the fuck is Anna? Oh, Anna's house. There's a suspect there. Can I go there? Can I go there? Nick's house. Alright, that's where the Angie... Where's the Sweary? Electrical substation. Heaven and Hell gas station. That's where Gina and them are. Lily. That's Lily Ingram. Is that the milk barn? Where's the milk barn? George Woodman? Who the fuck is George Woman? Forest Casing. Oh, there. Okay. Everybody's at the milk barn right now. Wesley. Who is this again? Who is this? George Woodman. Who the fuck is George Woman? George's house. Xander's junkyard. Oh, that's the general. Alright, where are we? Where are we? Uh I forgot how to do things. That okay. I'm gonna go to Anna's house real quick. Who's there? Yeah, who's there? Just to see. The cop? Oh, George, George, 
goddamn George. Actual George. I'm dumb. Sorry. Why you say whoops? Thank you for reminding me. Can I go here? It says it's open. Speaking of cars, I backed up today. Oh my God. I did so good. Like Lamont put like the. Quint, what, what are you doing here, Quint? Why did you pull up on me like that? You rude ass. Hold on, Quint. Hold on a second. Where are you going? Hmm. Sally isn't getting any better. She might get better once you guys catch the killer, though. I'm going to go see Sally. No, because I think it's two Georges in town. It might be. Hey, Sally. Quint was going in here, but why? Anna, where are you going? Don't leave me. Sally Graham. You there. Do you know where Anna is? Anna. My dear Anna. Zach, let's do this later. I don't think we'll get anything out of her like this. Okay. So we can't talk to her right now. Did Quint come in the house? Oh, I don't have any more. I don't need any more stabilizer. Hmm. Okay. So there are certain people that we can't even, you know, we know who she is though now and we can track her on the map, which is good. It's two Georges in the town. What is George's last name? Quint's car is gone. Oh, yeah, I can check the mail. Let me check the mail. Oh, bullets. Thank you. <laughs> I guess. I don't know who put bullets in your mailbox, but you know. Whatever. All right, so what am I looking for? I am going to look for the Sweary real quick. Because I know if I win the darts game, I can get... Uh, in a bigger storage basically why did I go out alright so this is where I am where is the Sweary I know Sweary was like down from the diner so where is the diner real quick where's the ANG I shouldn't be far from it Who's that? Polly. Polly. I know the Sweary is around here somewhere. Can't be all the way out there. It's in the town. Where the fuck is it? That's Harry's house, I'm pretty sure. Cause it's the mansion just off the side of the fucking town. Yeah, okay, so that's A and G right there. Yeah, Sweary is I swear Sweary is over here somewhere. I'm not fucking tripping. What's this? Lysander's junkyard. You really want me to go to this junkyard, huh? Should I go to the junkyard? Oh, here's a Sweary. So Sweary, I need to go down January way. Just like straight down January way. All right, cool. So right, left, right, left, right. Right, right, left, right. You know what I mean? Um, I want to say you are, but there are three people in here. I'm guessing you're one of them. I don't know if it counts me. Uh, pause, that's mama. Probably like, what's going on? Hold on.
All right. Somebody had an accident. But yeah, no, 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 Mike. Um, it says that there are, oh shit. It says there are other people here. Don't know who they are, but uh, hey, this is nice, right? Me and you. Oh, look, he came back. All right, so this, did it rain while I was out of the fucking frame? What the hell? Left, two blocks. Zach, don't you think there are a lot of good looking women in this town? It's like heaven compared to the town we grew up in. Do you remember Liz, the prom queen? Elizabeth Scott Moore. She could be royalty with a name like that, but you know, she was like an actress from a B-movie, wasn't she? Bleached blonde hair, too much makeup, clothes showed off her cleavage, and that mole by her mouth. Say, Zach, were you with me back then? You know, that mole was made with makeup, right? We happened to be on the same bus once. I saw her drawing it on with makeup. I wasn't surprised, I guess. Just impressed that she would go that far to create that image. Do you remember that movie we went to go see that day? I'll give you a hint. It was the fourth in a popular series, and was produced by Menahem Golan's Canon Films. Figured it out, Zach? Think it over, then. Call it your homework until next time. Wait, Menahem Golan? It was the fourth in a series? Hmm. We've established that York is not that damn old. So, I don't know. I wonder. Oh, no. I wonder if I can eat at the diner, too. At the sweary, I mean. Meow. Glitch, it's not time for you, for you to get all serious. All, yeah. Oh, can I go in here? I swear I thought this was the sweary. This is not the Sweary. This is this power station. Whoever's house this is, is closed though. So I can't go in there. You said, well, good news. My, my phone and Xbox are synchronized. What? They're actually in sync, like together? I can go over, over here. Oh, but like I was saying, so we went out to like a football stadium, like in the parking lot and we didn't have cones, but we had like bottles of water and he basically just like put the bottles of water like together, <laughs> not together, but like he made it open it like some openings for me to try to kind of maneuver in between like a little obstacle course. And surprisingly, I did not run over the water bottles. I was shocked. And then he had me like backing into spaces and stuff. I'm real confident in a parking lot. <laughs> in a parking lot. Not, not anywhere else though. How much gas do I have? Oh well, yeah, I probably should get some gas. I definitely pull, pull, I definitely hit the reverse button. Definitely did that. Fill her up, Jack. Mm. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. What does he eat? Chew? Yes, fill me up. He needs to take care. I was on the road, so let me tell you, right? So I was driving home. We dropped the kids off in the morning. Like he drops the kids off because you know it's hella traffic. I'm not too prepared for that quite yet. And I drove back. 
And like, you know Sulin Parkway, right? When you coming up like past Alabama and that exit right there and you know like people get off right there and merge onto Sulin Parkway. So I <laughs> my ass. Ooh, I performed a no-no. I got scared because somebody was merging onto the parkway from the exit and they were speeding like they were not trying to fucking slow down and it scared me and I got over without putting my signal on or checking my mirrors. Just, when I tell you I was scared, I was scared. And Lamar was like, if he didn't, Jack, if he didn't hit you, it would have been... You wanted. Give it to me. Ooh. What's your information? Okay. What's your hey advice? Hey there, Benjamin. I wanted to talk to you. Have you heard this yet? Have you got I'll a... tell you another one when I see you again. What? <laughs> Zach, did you see that? It was as if we weren't here. I wonder what that was all about. Did it make sense to you? I guess, but he's already like, oh wait, there's a card here. But yeah, it was fucking terrifying. <laughs> and I just, he was like, you gotta be confident because when you have the right of way, you have the right of way. You can't be like scared. <laughs> he was like, you could have slowed down if you felt, you know, Gina's sponge? Gina the Rose's sponge? Like the 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 sponge she uses to clean cars? You wanna fight me? Do I have to beat you? No. Good doggy. You know I want a Doberman. A Doberman would be cute. What is going on? Do is is he a side quest, I wonder? Okay, yeah, Suri is over here. Yeah, like, it's it, it's just one of them things that I had, I don't really, I didn't have much confidence about. Because most of the time when I'm on the road, I'm not worried about the way I'm driving. I have very good lane control. I'm very conscious about the way I drive. It's just that I worry too much about the way other people are going to fucking drive. Which I'm not necessarily, which I shouldn't do. I shouldn't be worried about other people. As long as I'm making sure that, well, no. Because they say when you drive, you're supposed to worry about other, you're supposed to gotta, you gotta drive for other people and yourself. At least that's what they say, like, when you go through, like, the training and other shit. You know? You know what I'm talking about. Nonsense. What you mean, nonsense? Oh, it's closed. Huh. Well, I'm gonna save because I'm nervous. Uh, you know what? I should have known. Hey, Glitch. Hey, Glitch. Get away from my burger, yo. Away from my burger. <laughs> Man on my butt. <laughs> I wish I could take one of these motorcycles. That'd be fun. If Quint isn't in the sweary, then... Uh-oh. Okay. It, it fixed itself. But what do you mean nonsense? What is nonsense? Are you saying that... Um, are you saying because... Are you saying that driving for... Driving defensively around other people? Or like driving for other people and myself? is nonsense don't know tell don't you tell glitch to, oh fuck don't you tell glitch to demolish my burger to recap the movie was the fourth sequel in a series that started in 1978 that's right Zach. 
It was Superman 4, The Quest for Peace. Oh! Lex Luthor was back. It was played by Gene Hackman. Oh! That alone made it a must for all us fans. I don't remember much more about it, though. I'm sure there was more trivia about it. Still forget 4. Richard Donner directing 1 and 2. Now those two were great movies. Christopher Reeve really shined as Superman. Actually, Zack, I've got a confession to make. Promise not to tell anyone because I'd be really embarrassed. I actually like the first two Superman movies more than the first two Star Wars movies. <laughs> I think John Williams did a better job with the theme song for Superman. But whenever I try to hum it, it always turns into the Star Wars song somewhere along the way. <laughs> I know it's strange, Zack. I know. So, Zack, which Richard Donner film do you like the best? No need to hurry. Take some time and think it over. Did you say boo? Did you say boo? <laughs> Don't let Cap hear you say that. <laughs> Don't let Cap hear you booing. Oh, George is here. Hi, George. Hi. Nothing to say to me? Oh, okay. Yeah, boo this man. Boo. <laughs> boo. Oh, hey, Kason. You. So now they needed a new sheriff's assistant. During the interviews, one of the candidates proved his stupidity over and over again. It went something like this. What's one plus one? Uh, 11. So what day comes after Sunday? Uh, the day after Sunday. This went on for the full 20 questions. The sheriff, totally exasperated by this awesome melonhead, resorted to irony for his following question. Who killed JFK? I don't know, came the reply. Then you can find out for homework, okay? <laughs> the idiot candidate was so happy to hear this, he ran to tell his old mother. Mom, you know what? I think the sheriff likes me. I got the job. He put me right on a murder case. York, did you hear that? Quite a funny story, you know? I think we have a slightly different sense of humor. Well, that's a shame. You're wasting a good chance to laugh with a joke like that one. Talking to Keith makes me lose sense of time. Keith's funny. You. Oh. Hey, Richard. Hey. If you want to talk, come to the bar. I got places to be right now. Bar must open kind of late. And there's all these random people there. Like, why are they not? Why are these people not suspects? Hey, hey bro. Hey, FBI. Want to browse at the merchandise, man? We've got enough rock and stuff here, just like the shop in the city. I'm sure you'll find what you want. Check it out. I heard that you have everything here. Oh, no, that's York. I heard that you have everything here. Is that true? Of course, yeah! But I tend to forget what we got. I always get in trouble because my list isn't all that it's supposed to be. If, man, for any reason you don't like my list, I'm cool, I'm cool. You can always ask Lily. Her list is always perfect. I'll keep that in mind. So, you want to buy something? Uh, what you got? What are you? Ooh! A spiritual map. A special spiritual map of Greenville? And a suit? Deep blue. The perfect suit if you want to be cool. I'm going to get that because it's only $500. Look at that. Look at that. That thing looks sharp. <laughs> All right. Ooh, a fork. Good word. Coffee milk. A flare. Some cigarettes. I can't carry any more of those. Oh, well. Cheese, cherry pie, hot dog. Spiritual map. That's $2,000, though. Should I take it? Uh, I don't know. 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 Thanks a lot, bro. Wait, Keith, I need to talk to you. Hey, bro. Is yellow. I'll always be here, man, so just come whenever you like. It's a rockin' place, but the service is first class. Keith, you should make a commercial. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, you right. Ooh, he's got a cart behind his desk. 
Grekach? Grekach. You got Grekach. I'm guessing that's his, his, that, that, that <laughs> thing. Where's Lily? Take that. Lily! Lily, where are you? I thought Lily was here. I swear it said she was here. Hmm. I thought Lily was here. Where is she at if she's not here? Kaysen. Oh, I guess she wasn't. But we got a new seat. You said it's not like I'm spending money. Yeah, I'll get it. I'll get it. Keith. Keith, Keith, Keith. Keith, chill for like two seconds. Hey, bro. I'll take it. Hey man, the spot on the map is called Cope's Tunnel. It's one of a couple of places in town where like spooky stuff happens. Oh. I'll tell you a story, okay, man? But uh, don't go spreading it around. The spirits, they don't like publicity. They, do they not? Okay. Oh shit. Back when this place was a lumber kingdom, you know, the rockin' 80s, that tunnel was the main connection from the lumber yard to this town. Every day, huge trailers would, like, come in and out. Lots of traffic, dude. Of course, some people were, like, all up in arms. Save our nature, stop pollution, you know. Big business was pushing in here from all over the U.S. of A. Everyone was bickering over the forest. So some of the town people got even more worked up, you know. They started a protest inside the tunnel itself. I guess maybe that was the start of all the bad times. Bad times. Oh, yeah, man. Rough stuff and heavy times, man. The conservationists and the lumber workers faced off with each other. Neither side was backing down, and that made things worse. Amid all this chaos, there was a man and a woman who got engaged. Problem was that the man was a lumberjack, and the woman, she was a tree hugger. They rarely ever fought, but then, one morning, they had a lover's quarrel. People think that her love of nature clashed with his profession. But we'll never know what they really were fighting about that morning. The man shouted. He called her an idiot. And then he stormed out and went to work. If only he had known, that would be the last word he would ever say to her. When he finished his work for the day, he got in his car and drove home. When he got to the tunnel, he saw lantern lights glowing faintly. Those fools, not again. He just thought they were protesting in the tunnel again. And to scare them a little, he decided to speed up. He probably thought they'd all scatter so he wouldn't hit them. But the lights didn't move. In fact, one came toward him. A second later, there was a thud, and the lantern flew up into the air. He slammed on his brakes too late, of course. Then, totally freaked climbed out to see what had happened. I don't need to tell you who he hit, do I? What's more, in her mangled hand, there was a letter to the head of the lumber mill. A peaceful settlement offer. The woman had no other relatives other than the man, and the lumber mill took no responsibility for the accident. It was going out of business anyways. What happened to the man then? No one saw him again. Some say he killed himself or simply just vanished. You know, he might still be in the tunnel, weeping over his lost love. So now, some folks say there's a ghost of a young man that haunts the tunnel. I told you it was called Cope's Tunnel, right? Well, check this out. Some people call it Corpse Tunnel now. <laughs> you better be careful, Mr. <laughs> FBI, if you go down there by yourself. <laughs> Map to psychic spot A. <laughs> okay. Okay. Corpse tunnel is marked on a suspicious map purchased from Keith at the milk barn. Go to the marking location and clear the other world challenge there. Oh. So it's a side some side mission thing. Okay. Thank you for taking all my money, Keith. <laughs> Thanks a lot, bro. No problem, Keithy. 
<laughs> really? <laughs> I swear I just opened this door. Wait, can I not leave? What the fuck? The hell? Why can I not leave? Hey, bro. Why can I not leave? Hold the fuck on. I can't leave or observe. What the fuck? I can't get out. I swear I'm going to end up dying in here. Why can I not leave? You. Why can't is someone coming into the store? Is that why I can't get out? It locked me in the door for some reason, but that's okay because smoking a cigarette got me out. So I'm going to save because <laughs> this, this game has been buggy. It says once you get past a certain part, it stops doing that shit. So, oh, yeah, see, George was leaving. George was fucking leaving and Casey was trying to leave. <sighs> Save. Oh, is that the corpse tunnel over there? Is is that corpse tunnel? What is the other world challenge? Oh, is this longest tunnel? How do I unmark this? I can't unmark this. It's just gonna be on my map forever. <laughs> I just gotta remember that I'm I'm going where the red where the red is. All right, so we're gonna go in Emily's house. Oh, Emily's house. Oh, really? Yeah, that's where we're gonna go. You want to check out the tunnel? We can check out the tunnel. Let me go see Emily real quick, cause she's right like down the street. I, uh, it's good to know because now I know Emily is near the milk barn. Where is she? Right over there, right? Yeah, that's Emily's house. got a nice house closed all all right corpse tunnel we go where did it say it was corpse tunnel is oh wait is there a way like to come okay so if i if i keep straight up this street okay yeah i'll just keep straight up who's this oh this is the graveyard okay we can go past the graveyard on the way too which is nice all right i went to see every richard donner movie on the day they premiered every single one goonies Lost Boys, the Lethal Weapon series, but my favorite has to be Lady Hawk. That was back in 1985, the same year as Goonies. Both Rutger Hauer and Michelle Pfeiffer really shine in that one. 
But more than anything, it's the story setting that was really good. A love story about a cursed knight that changes into a wolf at night, and a cursed maiden that changes into a hawk during the day. Very romantic. Don't you think so, Zack? They can only be together at dusk, right between day and night. Together as humans for only a brief moment. Perfect setting for a fantasy movie. Hmm. I just had a thought, Zack. I really like those movies that have women changing into animals. Can you tell which movie I just remembered? That's right, Zack. With Nastasia Kinski in the lead role. Now that was a fantastic movie. But I better concentrate on driving. We'll finish this later. All right, York. We're getting a lot done today. Like, right before this next part. Which is nice. Because I really wanted to go see what some of the town was about. I even had for... I low-key had kind of forgotten that Brian the Grave... Grave digger was here. There's somewhere to sleep up here? Why? Hey, Brian. You all right? Uh, hello. Anna was killed at the lumber mill? That's terrible. So sad. Hmm. Why can't you sleep here? What is this? Oh, a green tomato. Oh, they respawn. I'm just gonna get three. Cause I know I'm gonna need them later when I uh when I pass time by because it's gonna make me hungry and tired. What time is it right now? Three? Alright, yeah. Yeah, we got a little time. Let me save it. So the last thing I need is this shit going down on me. There's something in the grave? This grave has been dug up. Why would he want to do such a thing? Yeah, Brian. I'm going to come past here like... I don't know. Where does he live? Does he live at the graveyard? Alright. Back on the mission. A corpse tunnel. It should be right up here. What is this? Why is it making this noise? No, 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 York. We don't got time right now. Not yet. Well, God. I'm almost, I'm halfway down, I'm just about halfway down the gas already. Hmm. There it is. Why do all these tunnels have debris in them? Like, does nobody use the tunnels? Are they scared to use the tunnels? I'm mad there's not one headstone. Exactly. He's just digging up dirt. He's just in there messing with the dead bodies. Maybe I should give it a shot. I'll give it a shot. I think I got enough ammo to do it. I guess this is supposed to represent like the lumber mill and like you know shit. Amazing. Great. Hey. I 
This sounds like the uh, music when the tree comes up. Oh, I don't need no more stabilizer. Huh? Huh? I don't know. Wait, what? Oh! Do I go through this door? I do. Challenge here. Amazing. Great. I guess I just gotta go through the levels and murk everybody. I'm glad I got a lot of first aid kits. This is exactly what I need. Burst shots, yeah. Ooh, I got a big one. That's a first. Alright. So what do I do? Do I just keep going? How many levels is this, I wonder? Sacks. Hold on. I'm gonna put this in my toolbox. <laughs> Wait, so do you what? I can't even remember what I just said just now. I got a shovel. I'm gonna have to start keeping this shit in my uh, toolbox. Toolbox. I can't keep any more of these. All right, fuck it. What's this? Oh, root beer. Oh, come on. How many levels is this? Stabilizer. I got plenty of fucking bullets. Like, I'm not skipping on bullets. Is there gonna be a boss? Or does this, like, is this just like a farming area? Everybody got guns out here? Everybody got guns out here, huh? Everybody got guns out here. Everybody got guns out here? You got a gun? Bullseye. Bullseye. You got a gun? You got a gun. Bullseye. Amazing. Fucking see you. Oh, you got a gun. Nice shot. Nice shot. Amazing. You got a gun. You damn sure got a gun. Ha. Push me to the edge. Yes. Bullseye. Nice shot. Great. 
Great. Nice shot. Get out of here. Did anybody drop a gun? Ooh. They all. Why do they? Why do they get shotguns? I am yet to get a shotgun. And I feel kind of played. Like I feel like I'm getting played here. I would like a 12 gauge shotgun. So I can do the boom booms. Like for real. Look how many shotgun shells. Every time you kill one with a shotgun, they give it they give you shotgun shells. Jesus Christ. Oh flare. I need that. All right, I'm gonna try one more level. My cat is crying. I'm guessing Lamont left. <laughs> All right, oh. Oh. I guess that was the end. That's cool. Do I get anything extra on oh, no. a submachine gun all right did I quell the ghost Thomas's biscuit a biscuit baked by Thomas recovers life hunger and tiredness and help prevents them from lowering oh I did it yay Oh, so I can do it over and over again? We're not gonna do that, though. <laughs> oh, wait. No, I need to go back this way. Alright, so it is 3. It's only 3.15. I would've thought being in there would've passed time, but I guess not. I guess that's just gonna be forever on my map now. Why is it wet? Anyway, how are you doing today, Mike? How was work? Was it hard? I know they working at you over there. Time to get on with the story. Shit, still gotta deal with the guard shortage. Hey, y'all hiring part time? I can do part time. Part time. <laughs> I wonder if I'll get in trouble for peeking through the window. Because they're open, right? Yeah, they're open. It's no point in peeking through the window. Y'all uh, apply and find out? I shall. Go on, go on and send me that. I don't know what company are you. I don't know what company you're working for now. But, beside all that, is it, it tell, just tell me something. Is it as bad as where we came from? Just, just tell me that. <laughs> Uh, 
Because you know me, I will work. So now we're going to go all the way. What did she say? 2100? Damn, that's a long ass time. I'm going to have to pull my tiredness and my hunger back up. Depends on where they put you. Hmm. You manage your own site? Oh, nine o'clock. Good. Oh. Okay, I'm hungry. Not too tired, but I'm hungry. We are going to eat the same and all right hunger's all the way up and then coffee black i wish i had Guess it's just gonna be coffee. All right, this will work. Emily should be here, right? Emily's supposed to be with me, I thought. There she is. Well then, Olivia, talk to me. Y yes. In the beginning, Nick only went to the gallery during the day, but he went so often at some point he became friendly with Diane. They started going out drinking together, and now he doesn't come home until early morning. He says that they were only drinking when I asked. He blames me for not being able to talk about Turner and Rembrandt. Which of course I can't, can I? So what can I say? I mean, I couldn't take it anymore. So I followed him. He did go to the bar, to start with. Diane was there too. But the real problem is where they go to next, right? So, I waited outside the bar to see where they might go, and, and they eventually left the bar and headed for the art gallery. But it was, it was already early morning, but it was still dark. Just before going inside, Diane turned around. It should have been too dark to see me, but I swear, her eyes looked right at me. He seemed to flash for a moment. I was so rattled that I left and went home. The next day, Anna was found dead. I, I didn't know what to do. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I went to the gallery to talk with Diane about it, to confront her. But once I was there, I couldn't find the courage to go through with it. Then I saw you there, and I just felt I had to go home. Nick has been seeing Diane every night recently. He, he just left for tonight, too. I, I, I really don't know what to do. <laughs> York, we ought to take Nick in for questioning. No, not yet. This alone isn't enough. Emily, answer me. This is Emily. Agent York is with me, too. I've just received word from Thomas at the Sheriff's Department. Something has happened at Becky's house. It was called in by Quint, but he wasn't making any sense. We have no further details. 
I've sent Thomas over I there. I like this music. Can you go back him up? Yes, sir. At Becky's house. One other thing. It sounded like he said, raincoat killer. This may well be related to the murder case. Take all due precautions. <gasps> no! It couldn't be! Nick? Oh, please, no! What can I do? <laughs> Olivia, oh, calm down. <laughs> Emily, take care of Olivia. I'm heading over to Becky's. She lives in the big house over by the lake. Hurry! I just hope this isn't anything serious. Damn it, Zach. We may have screwed up during the investigation. How? How do we screw up? What? Wait, how do we screw up? Damn, I got my $2,000 back. Yeah, let's save. You better hurry, Zach. I have a bad feeling about this. Me too. Becky's house is by the lake. That yellow thing on my fucking map is gonna bother me. Just tried to follow the map. Okay, so we need to go. I need to go back down and go up Vale Way. Shit, she's far. All right, I need to go back and go up Vale Way. Turned around. Did I get turned around? I did. Okay. So I need to back up and make a oh, right and then a right. Alright, cool. Back up. Make a left at the end of the way. Oh shit. It's raining. I don't have no gas and I don't have no no car washing or whatever or damage to my car. So this is apparently some serious shit. Cause you know when serious shit goes down. Who 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 wants to worry about gas? Speaking of gas, gas is officially too damn high again. I went to the motherfucking Shell gas station, three dollars and eight nine cents for premium. Two eighty nine for regular, but you know who who really who really out here using regular, you know? Let me let that. Let me make sure I'm watching his heart rate. She's far, but she's not that far. an emergency. Hey, Leonor, but I know it's an emergency, but gas prices are entirely too damn high. This is why this game takes it off when you know it's an emergency. Because, I mean, you know, yeah. <laughs> Is Quinn Becky's boyfriend? Gas 
gas is too damn hot. <laughs> oh my god. That farty shrimp it really be getting me. Empty That's all he would say since I got here. No, that makes me go faster, though. It accelerates the car Quint, faster. <laughs> tell me, what did you see in there? <laughs> Dem, Dem. Did you see the raincoat kill? Dem, Dem, Dem. Quinn, Quinn's fucked up. Thomas, did you see Nick here? Oh, Becky! No. When I got here, he was already like this. Emily should be here soon. Call George and tell him to get over here. But wait out here. I'm going inside. Once they both get here, follow George's orders, okay? Yes. Oh, no. But Agent York, isn't it dangerous to go in there alone? Don't worry. Zach is with me. Oh no, what happened to Becky? <laughs> Becky was Zach, Becky was the girl. First. Becky was the girl in the flashback or the dream, right? My name is Becky. I need to clear my head so I can take everything in. Yeah, go ahead, take your smoke. Damn. Quint Quint is fucked up. He saw some fucked up shit, whatever it was. Yep, somebody died. <laughs> <sighs> Zach, they're here too. I had a nasty feeling about this. Hey, life, how are you? Big welcoming party. Huh? Okay. Um. All right. Oh, fuck! Hold up. F R R. Oh, that's oh. bullshit. Damn it. Oh. Bad glitch. Get out of my face. <laughs> Fuck it. No, no, no. Don't matumbo me, you jackass. <laughs> that was whack. How am I supposed to know when it's F or R? I'm always prepared for one or the other. And it's always wrong. I don't like how menacingly slowly that cabinet opened. But hey, life, how are you? I'm good. Well, I'm good. I'm good, but how are you? <laughs> Which way do I go then? Uh, do I, I guess I go through the middle because I can't go over there. Hmm. <sighs> this is new music. I do not owe you five dollars, Leonor. Where's my five dollars? Hmm? Zach, that's a strange coincidence. Look. Red, red velvet. velvet. Just like the place where Anna was murdered. Have you gotten any better at driving in this game? I have. I've gotten better. 
I, I can even throw my sirens on without completely Too much flipping noise. the car upside down. We're still missing a vital piece of the puzzle. I've also gotten better at driving in real life. Why can I sleep here? Why would now be the time to sleep? Like, I understand, but no, this is not the time. This is not the time. All right, let me check my toolbox. That's all the stuff I have in there. All right, let me put all my shotgun shells up. All right, all these. I have three bars and two pipes. Uh, that should be enough, right? And I'm gonna put away my cracker and my lollipops, cause um, yeah, and that. And I can keep everything else, I think. All right, cool. I just want to leave room for me to pick shit up. I'm gonna save also because this game is really buggy. Life, do you like like life? Let me tell you, I spent a long time trying to fix this game because it was broke. <laughs> it was broke. It's locked. Okay, that one's locked. Is there a story behind this five dollars? No, no. Uncle Landor just likes you know being funny. Shot. Are you mad? Did I make you mad? Shot. I made you mad. Great. I don't care. Oh, he's too far away. Amazing. Damn. Your face. All right. Is this open? It's locked. Can you? Oh, I was about to say. Are you gonna die? No, she owes me dollars in her. No, I don't owe you no. He owes me five dollars. Not for anything in particular, just because he's uh, mannequins. I don't like mannequins. Now, like I was saying, he owes me. I don't owe him. Do I hide in here? Is this a hiding place? It is a hiding place. dollars for being a great person that's about it oh fuck you i hit you first get me with a crowbar bitch <laughs> away with me oh <laughs> my bar is gone that's the thing bars are powerful but they don't last don't come near me i told you don't come near me Rude. That's satisfying slap though. That is a satisfying fucking smack. <laughs> it really is. Okay, can't go out anywhere. Damn, half my steel pipe is already gone. Smacking them around one time. Oh. Oh, he was on fire. Great. Bullseye. Bullseye. Oh, so I can't he can't come through the fire at me. You'll come through here? Nice shot. Yes. I think they're just gonna keep respawning. I gotta go through here. Here. 
What is this? Broccoli? Okay. I guess. Lot of ghosty goos. Lot of ghosty goos. Surprise, a surprising amount. This, I don't like this. It looks like I'm gonna have to run and I don't quite appreciate being made to run. I don't have any more of these. I don't need any more. Got my face. Broccoli is what every scary game should have is loot. Yeah, just, you know. <laughs> okay, just get in my toolbox because you're in the way. Bro, I think if scary games just had broccoli, it's just ratchet down attention. Can you imagine if motherfucking out, Outlast just like, you know, randomly and th throughout the game, you just pick up some broccoli. Oh. Damn it. Uh-oh, cutscene. Oh, I made it. Oh, I'm behind one side of the <sighs> house. Okay. Mm. Huh? A mirror? Sacre bleu is le clou. Which, I don't like how when you want something from me, you think just laying on the floor and rubbing your head on my feet is gonna help. Just, no. No. I get it, you're cute. No. We only got three clues this time. Glitch, you get off my cords right now. With your butt. Y'all fan. Oh. Fine, stay right there. <laughs> Who is this muscular motherfucker that keeps murdering people? I haven't met anybody muscly with... Joyce doesn't really have long hair. This guy's got like medium length hair. Oh, hi. Boop. <laughs> Glitch. No, I'm not. No. Great. Bullseye. Nice shot. Yes. Get out of my face. Bullseye. Go away. So many first aid kits. Mind you, I have this on normal. I'm not, uh, this is not on easy. <laughs> it's just normal. I'm not that much of a scrub. I'm a scrub. I'm not a super scrub. The music box sound is coming from inside of the cupboard. I didn't even hear a music box until right now. Is that a clue? Oh, it's seeds. You got red seeds. See, and this is the seeds are what would make me think it's Kaysen because he's a <sighs> seed sapling selling red fucking trees. I'm not gonna profile him. I need them. I'm just gonna take the money. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Hi. 
I thought you were some special type thing. But like, yeah. The seeds will make me think it's Kaysen, but he's fat. Amazing. This is like Bullseye. some muscular looking dude with a tattoo on his back. And also, Kaysen had also has short hair. But the seeds, like who else is, I don't think we've met anybody who's like familiar with trees. Or maybe it's not even trees. Somebody that's good at gardening. It's probably a woman. What if it's a woman, yo? What if it's a woman and she just wears sleeves all the time? Cause the only people I've seen with short, me medium hair is like women. What if all these women are in like some type of lesbianic ring and Anna got killed on some like BDSM crazy stuff? Like one of the women went crazy and now he's she's just going through all the other women murdering them. <laughs> That's like a wild theory, but I'm just saying. Oh, hey, guy. Hey, hey, I'm not bothering you. It's locked. Okay. Oh, he ran. Oh, hey, I'd have missed that. Lesbianic. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> Huh? Huh? I oh, you. No, 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 no. Yeah, ugh. Uh. Hi. What's wrong with you? No, don't go out. <laughs> I see you. Yeah, you saw me behind you. You're not slick. Oh, I should have held in a table. There was a table right there. Oh no, that's the first place he went. Never mind. No, never mind. He actually looked under the table too. Uh-uh. I'm glad I didn't go over there. Where are you? What if it is a lady and the ax is just too heavy? Like to carry normally? But, like, when she can, she can summon up the strength to, like, throw it. Where are you? And she's just got, like, the cradle sacks. It just comes back. <laughs> Rain Raincomb killer was Kratos before Kratos was Kratos. sniff the air for your existence. <sighs> Don't check that one. You would check the one right next to me, but that's okay. As long as you didn't check the one I was in. Ooh, she mad again. <laughs> Speaking of buff ladies, ladies, if you're buff <laughs> and you like uh, chubby women like me, feel free to DM me. <laughs> I love me some buff ladies. <laughs> Just saying. <sighs> Zach, this is a waste of time. Let's go. This is a waste of time? Really? Do I go out this way or do I go over here? Oh no, okay. Well, well, where did he come from if that was closed up? What 
the shit? Oh, push. No. Um, bar is quicker. Oh. In the butt. In the butt. just gonna keep showing up in front of my face oh they both go out okay same hallway yeah no I don't have to reload reload wait 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 hold on no 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 thank you no thank you buff lady I don't you not you're not the one I'm looking for. <laughs> so don't look for me, please. <laughs> You'll never catch me! <laughs> I want... Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> You'll never catch me! <laughs> Whoa! Oh, use an ass. <laughs> I love when he does that. <laughs> oh, now we're on the other side. Rubia. Oh, looks like our last clue. Tread carefully, cause you know, all raincoats around here chasing people. Uh. A bloodstained camisole has been hung up with a frame around it. Our third clue. Now what do we do? Huh? We sit down there in a thinking chair and think, think, think. Cause if we use our mind, we can bust that crime. We can do anything. Dun, 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 dun. That wanna do. <laughs> Ooh. Why did he frame it, jackass? Oh, no, 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 don't take him down. Oh, it's, it's just a guy with a golf club. That's fine. Boop. Asshole. Great. Great. Nice shot. Can you get out of my face? Out. Now where do I go? I guess I go back through that door. No. That door needs to open. Right? Right? This door needs to open. No, I came through that door. I don't know what I'll find here, but I know it's not gonna be good. Oh, we made it back to the bedroom. Why do we do all that running around and come back to the same fucking place? Oh, because we were in the other world. Never mind. It's bad. Very bad, Zach. The raincoat killer gave Becky a visit. Hold on. Oh. Hmm. Holy shit, this is not the same bedroom. Can you hear that? Is it rain? No, it's the shower. Zach, the bathroom, quick. Oh, 
What? Uh, okay. Um, hold on. What is going on? What is it? Oh, cigarettes. Okay, fine. I'll take the cigarettes. I know we're trying to be quick, but there's things. No, I don't need a stabilizer. No, I don't need. No. What is this? It's red. There's a safe. We need a key. Oh, we don't have a key. We don't have a key. All right, cool, cool, cool. Um, this is this the bathroom? This gotta be bathroom. No, it's not. Oh, I was in front of the bathroom. I guess he walked further in the room during the cutscene. Sorry, throw me the fuck off. What the fuck? What the fuck? Huh? What the fuck? What type of collector shit is this? Oh, Becky. Oh, Becky. Oh, shit. York, is this appropriate? Is this an appropriate time? Well, I mean, I guess maybe it's an appropriate time to smoke. <laughs> She's fucking alive. She's still alive. Who did this? Who was it, Becky? I, 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 oh, I, shit, her tongue's gone. Becky. Uh -huh. What happened here? George, shut up. George, stay back. She's trying to speak. We don't have time. She's dying. Thomas, cut George, that wire. chill, yo. We must get her to the George. hospital immediately. What? George. Uh, what? <laughs> George. <laughs> George. What are you doing? Get out of the way. I'll do it. No. George. Don't. George. George, stop. <laughs> Fucking George. <laughs> oh no, George. George, you fucking jackass. What the fuck? George, you fucking dumbass. Huh? Oh, she's gone fucking crazy. York can see it. Oh, 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 she had it down her throat? Oh, shit. Oh, my God. George is so fucking stupid. I bet you are second guessing yourself, you stupid shit. Yo, okay, Thomas. You got us good this time, Zach. Damn. Like. Damn. 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 Hold, hold on a second. Damn. Damn. Like, <laughs> I'm so sorry, y'all. Like, oh, fuck. I don't even. My phone cut off. <laughs> my phone cut off while I was, while that was going on. 
So I'm trying to bring chat back up, but what the fuck? I, oh my God, I'm so sorry that I, it, whoever's chats I didn't see, I'm so sorry. Oh shit. Okay. I'm sorry. I, I should, I should have this up. My phone like completely cut off during that cutscene. Oh my gosh. What did I miss? Let me know what I missed, please. If anybody said anything, because I got it back on now. But god damn. 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 That was some. Have y'all ever seen the movie? movie um, there's this movie called The Collector. And it's about. I think there. I want to say there was a thief that was going to go rob this house. But. The house that he goes to rob is already like under attack by a serial killer. And the serial killer, like he he literally is the collector. He collects people or whatever. But he's booby trapped, like he's got the house like like booby trapped. Have y'all ever seen that? It's it's an interesting fucking movie. But I don't know why that reminded me of that for some reason. I don't know if it's the wires. What year did the collector come out? I wonder. Oh my god. Oh, 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 that's that's kind of nice. The physics of that. You move. Oh, fuck. So much blood. She must have been terrified. A horrendous ordeal. We were too late to save her. No, we weren't too late to save her. George's bitch ass decided not to listen. How can he not, like, how can he see, like, I mean, I guess it's because he's small town or whatever, but how do you see some shit rigged up like that and not go, I'm not going to look in that toilet. Why was just threw up in there? And not go hold the fuck on. She was in this huge mansion by herself. Nobody. <sighs> Becky. Yeah. Thomas is fucked up. Oh. oh. Thomas is fucked up. He can't. Ha ha. That's all he can do. <sighs> We're going to open this safe, though. My dear sister, I'm so, so sorry. I was a fool to fall for a man like him. I don't have the words to apologize to Anna. I left her there. She was suffering so much, and I just ran away. I know he wanted to kill me, too. But I'm not going to let him get away with this. I followed him after he was finished. He carried Anna into the woods. Anna was holding on to that precious locket of his. He couldn't remove it from her hand, even though she was dead. But she let go of it for me, though. It was like she gave it to me. So I brought it home. I might be able to bring Anna's killer down with it. I want you to see it. I know even he wouldn't dare to harm you. He'll catch me, though, if I go into town. I'm trapped in my house. So I've asked Isaac and Isaiah to deliver it. They totally believe that Anna became a goddess. I believe so, too. She looked so beautiful as though she might smile back at any moment. I have something else to confess to you. 
I borrowed a pair of your shoes without asking and broke the heel on one of them. I'll send them along with the locket. I'm sure the shoe can be fixed. So Becky is Miss Stiletto Heel, and she gave the locket to the twins. Must be the special secret Lily told us about, Zack. We better go and see her first thing tomorrow. Emily, who might this sister be that Becky was referring to here? That would be Diane. Didn't you know Diane and Becky were sisters? I should have known, Zack. We're all family here. Hmm. High quality beef. Hundred and sixty two enemies. Why is the ending shot Thomas in the toilet? <laughs> what why would they do that? <laughs> Previously during the investigation. I'm Kaysen, Forrest Kaysen. Thomas, did you see Nick here? I, 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 no. I, uh, when I got <laughs> here, he was already like this. What are you doing? Get out of the way! I'll do it! George, stay back. She's trying to speak. <laughs> no! It could be! Nick? Oh, please, no! <sighs> you got us good this time, Zach. Oh, I can't believe it, man. Now that's heavy. Me neither. When did Becky stop coming to work? I think it was like from the day Anna was killed, man. Yeah, 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 that's right. She was, she was totally depressed about something. Quint called for her to let us know she wasn't coming in for work. She must have been totally in shock, the poor thing. So you took the twins along to cheer her up. That's right, hon. If only I knew it would be like this, I'd have spent more time talking to her. You told me about a special secret between your children and Becky. Yes, of course. What about it? It seems Becky handed them an item before she was killed. Any idea what that might be? Now that you mention it, they had a box about this size, which they said was very important. That's it. I'd like to talk to them about this in person. <laughs> this Where are the boys smile. now? They went out, actually, with Mr. Kaysen. They mentioned going to the community center today, Han. There is plenty of space to run around over there. Kaysen? Do you know him well? Oh, yeah, he's a good guy. He always brings us gifts from his road trips. The kids love him, so we let him take them out every once in a while. You know, for a little quality time with the missus. <laughs> okay, I understand. But the situation calls for urgency. I'll go and look for them myself. And if they come home without running into me, could you let us know? Sure, of course. I'll contact the department. Okay. Isaac and Isaiah aren't here. They're apparently out with Kaysen. Let's go look for them. With Kaysen? Sounds like a long story. Any ideas where to start looking? Lily told me where they went. No problem. I am probably episode two, part two, The Lost Child. Hi, Carol. Oh no, wait. <laughs> No, no, it's nothing. 
All right, all right. Let's let's go ahead. Let's go ahead to the community center, which I believe is just up the hill. I believe my babies are not home yet. And today we're stuck here having to search for lost children. They're not lost. We're the ones who are lost. And so we are, Emily. <laughs> Zach, we may as well have fun if we're getting lost. You sure know how to take your time at a time like this. <laughs> that fucking smile. What the fuck? All right, Carol. You win today. But I will have the next day. I should probably see the room. Um, okay, so we're going to community center. Why is the community center all the way over here? All right, so we just need to, where are we at? Yeah, we're right here. So we go up January way to the right and then hit a right. All right, cool. Easy enough. This town really isn't like that big. I just tend to get turned around really easily. I can't believe two people have been murdered in our town. And now two young children are at the center of it all. I just can't come to grips with it yet. Crime will happen wherever there are people. And that's why we have our jobs. Might be easier for you because you don't live here. These were people that I knew that were killed. And the murderer might be someone who lives here in this town. It's really depressing. I know. But someone has to bring this murder to justice. You're right, I know. But, oh, Agent York, sometimes I just think I'm not really cut out to be a cop. Not true, Emily. You have the potential to be a superb law enforcer. You can be emotional at times, but you also possess what's most important. I do? Uh, what do you mean? What do you think? A sense of justice. Justice? <laughs> I must admit, I I'm surprised to hear such a... How should I say this? Such an obvious answer. I thought you'd say something else. Obvious or not, I joined the FBI in order to do what's right. And that's what's important. I understand, but still, you seem... Uh, I'm sorry. I, I need some time to think. Whatever do you want to think about? Justice. I want to think about justice. <laughs> Zach, she's quite the philosopher, isn't she? <laughs> And again, death makes everyone a philosopher. Mm. She want to philosoph philosophize about your justice. She wants some of that uh, prime York justice. I could have, I could have just stayed on the street. Don't know what I was doing. Wait, I didn't even get to the circle yet. Oh lord. Did it just freeze on me? Uh, uh, good thing it auto saves. Good thing it fucking auto saves. Man. And. Yep. crashed whatever you want to call it it fucking it decided i was done for the day that's basically it's basically all it told me she's like what you want to keep playing nah you're done it's 10 o'clock so unfortunately <laughs> because now i have to hard restart my computer i will see you guys tomorrow <laughs> <laughs> You can follow me on Twitch. It'd be greatly appreciated. I'm trying to get to affiliate. I have 24 people left to go. So if you would love, if you could, I would appreciate if you share my channel or share my page or whatever, you know, share my link, something, you know, help me get out there. Um, also, I have a YouTube. If you check the links down below, you can find uh, one of the pictures that clicks and goes to it and you could totally subscribe. That would totally help too. Anyway. Thank you, everybody, for watching, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!